Good evening, and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, September 1st, 2021, from St. Margaret's Episcopal Church in Palm Desert, California. I'm Jim Duke. Joining me this evening is Samantha Hirsch. Good evening, Samantha. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, everyone. On the church calendar today, we remember David Pendleton Okahata, who was a deacon and missionary in the Episcopal Church, although his life did not start out in that direction. He was a member and leader of the Cheyenne Nation in Oklahoma, born about 10 years before the start of the Civil War. About 10 years at, after the end of the Civil War, he led his people in a battle against the U.S. government over Native land rights. He was taken prisoner and sent to a military installation in Florida, where he met an army captain who taught him English and led him to the Christian faith. When he was released, he moved to New York State, was baptized, and attended seminary. He was ordained a deacon in the Episcopal Church of the United States, and he returned to Oklahoma to serve the people and to found schools and missions. And when he returned to Oklahoma the first time, he said this, the Lord Jesus Christ is my leader. He goes first and all he tells me is true. I come back to my people to tell you to go with me now in this new road. So the, the readings for tonight and the collect of the day are in commemoration of David Pendleton Okahata. We've included a link to the service booklet for tonight's evening prayer in both the Facebook post and the YouTube channel. If you have a copy of the Book of Common Prayer, evening prayer begins on page 115, and you can always find the Book of Common Prayer online at bcponline.org. Your presence with us this evening is indeed a blessing. We invite you to join us where the worship is indicated in bold. Yours is the day, O oh God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let us say responsibly by whole verse, a portion of Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. 
Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. After this, the Lord appointed seventy others, and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers to, into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if, any, and if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, 
that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of blessed Margaret and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God of unsearchable wisdom and mercy, liberate us from bondage to self and empower us to serve you and our neighbors, that like your servant, David Okahata, we may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, through Jesus Christ, the captain of our salvation, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. O oh God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace and grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds that our spirits may be opened to the goodness of your creation through jesus christ our lord amen god our father you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord. Make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. I'd like to extend an invitation to you to join us for in-person worship on Sunday at 9 a.m. This will be the final Sunday that we're having one service 
And on September 12th, we will go back to two services. Again, 9 a.m. and that service will be uh, live streamed on both the Facebook and YouTube pages. I uh, would like to invite you to join us also on Sunday evening for a service of Compline, also on Facebook and YouTube, and to return here next Wednesday for a service of morning prayer. For myself, for Samantha, and everyone at St. Margaret's, thank you again for being here. We wish you a pleasant evening. Good night.